you don't have bubble. Well, let's find out what you use bubble on. Just general pressure, right? And then general pressure again. There's nothing wrong with being selfish with your bubbles, but the problem is being selfish with your bubbles when it's essentially just you and your Lucio playing the game. Your Reaper yep. and your Tracer were complete non-factors while you were bubbling yourself. So then they are able to walk forward and nade. The nade here isn't the problem. That the, the mistake happened before the nade, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, what, what's crucial about bubble TP on the Ana here, as opposed to earlier, Just I wasn't as much of a fan of it. Uh, here the Ana's very vulnerable. Right. Like, can can your Reaper be punished for this? Mm, very little. Uh, with a bubble, he shouldn't be able to. Yeah, bubble. there's no way. I, I don't see any possible way that your Reaper dies doing this. Like, that's just impossible. Yeah. They, they can't reach him. So, like, you bubble TP in, you're going to clear the high ground instantly. You're probably going to force Nade, maybe sleep as well. Lucy's going to have to peel. It's going to be so much space. So, this is a situation where bubble TP is probably the best way. Yeah. Now she's dropped. But you could still do, like, a TP above top and then drop on the Ana with bubble and then Wraith out. And then, if as long as you can get to this corner, right? Corners are so big for Reaper, then you should be okay. Oh. You see the problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, major, 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 major problem. Like, again, here, I'm, like, really displeased with, like, the Tracer value that we're getting right now. Like, your Tracer's essentially just peppering from a million miles away. She's not clearing Sombra. She's not actually angling on the back line. She's worthless, right? So that's problem number one. But problem number two, this is just horrible. There's nobody here. Yeah. And so... Now you're one bubble in, no pressure. What is the problem here? This isn't necessarily bad. But what is the theoretical potential problem here? We're rushing too much. You're, uh, what like, does that mean? Like me, 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 like me and uh, my Anna and my Swamba, none of us are there. It's only my mm -hmm. Reaper really just exactly. to output any damage. Exactly, exactly. I mean, your Reaper really is your main tank here, right? So like, this is like Monkey Diamond backline getting five people's attention, but then dies before you actually can do anything about it. It's like, unless he literally sees like, oh, this is the fattest one shot in the world, just, just send me in. Then like, now he's out. But like, what did you actually do with that? You know, you forced a nade. But that was a bubble and a wraith for a nade, and you guys almost got zero space out of it too. You guys were gonna be able to walk up anyway. And now your Samba's in, but what's the problem with your Samba being in? He's gonna get forced out. He's gonna get forced out instantly. Yeah. Why is he gonna get forced out instantly? What do they have to look at right now? Just the Samba. Oh, right. Reaper doesn't have Wraith, Reaper isn't even ready yet. You're still far back, your Lucy is still far back. So Samba's if Samba's the first target out, easy clear, right? Like honestly, she should she there's a ridiculously risk of dying there. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't even say you're playing too aggressive, but like, what's the problem? You know, uh, the Reaper's not with me. Your Reaper's not. Yeah, you but, got four stuff with Wraith. So. Yeah, but, but it's not just your Reaper here; it's your Lucio too. And like, honestly, at this point in time, like, given the way the battlefield is right now, you guys are up one. Your Ana could be pushing more aggressively with you too. Like, she could be pushing on this flank here and looking for a flank nade. Like, she would zero chance she gets punished for it either. Your Lucio could be speeding you and. Like this is this is the problem, you know what I'm saying? Like these are the, like I'm not saying it's easy to fix these things because obviously it's always like as an honor, it's like do I survive if I do this? Do I die? Lucy's like do I peel? Do I push? But like you guys have a clear cooldown advantage here, and then stuff starts to happen, and your Reaper's out, your end, your Ana's out, your Lucio's out. Grab is fine, but it gets air, and then now your Reaper's like oh shoot, I guess I should push, but at this point in time you're already thinking crap, that was a waste. I'm out. And so then we're, we're playing defensively and the reaper gets his wraith forced again for essentially nothing he actually did nothing like look at look at love's pov he's like oh shoot i should push i should push oh crap i'm hacked i gotta i gotta push we gotta i gotta push i gotta push, I gotta push. okay i guess we're out we're out oh, there's my wraith again <laughs> he literally forgets his wraith force yeah. the second it's available again if um, i waited like five more seconds because my lucio and so, or somewhere were coming back from spawn because they died to the blossom so if i waited like five more seconds and i think yeah. it would have been fine no i agree but i think this is a team thing too like your team has to be like if you see an opportunity like that, your team, you have to be able to like call it and just go like, go, 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 and be able to have your team like in a position of like, have the balls to actually push there. But this is the, yeah. this is the problem when you got, when you mismanage these things like too many times in a row. And like at this point now, I look at this fight here and I'm like, I don't, there's just no way you win now. Like it's, you've, you've, yeah, dug, you've dug a hole so deep, even without ults here. <laughs> like you guys are down so many cooldowns. Like there's no possible way to win anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I just, I'm like in absolute emotional agony right now. You're doing it again.
<laughs> it's like goats. Like, remember? Did you ever play during goats at all? Yeah, I played. Diva. Okay, okay, you played Diva during goats. If your Reinhardt turns the corner into Zenyatta LOS and flashes shield and loses like 600 shield and 200 HP in the process, you would kick him off the team, right? But that's what you're doing yeah. here right now. Like, the, you're turning the corner here into one, two, three, four people. Where literally just you and maybe your Lusu can shoot. Like there's actually like you're gonna this is a guaranteed HP slash cooldown loss rate every single time. Every single oh. time. So this is kind of what I was talking about. So I actually think that like you guys do the wrong thing here in terms of the micro play, but your timing is quite reasonable, and that's why you guys win this trade. So like look at that from their perspective, right? Like look at your Sombra, look at your Zarya. Look at your Lucio, look at your Reaper. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Like if this is on a Reaper, if this is on a Zarya, Lucio, it doesn't matter what target you pick. If you're able to get like synchronize this pressure, like look like look at FD God, right? Look at Logics. Look, you see what they're looking at right now? They're stopping for the Sombra. Yeah, they're all stalling for the Sombra. And Holy Pig is in a position where it's gonna take eternity to clear him out too, right? And then yeah. and then you and your Reaper and your Lucio are legit like on top. Obviously, the bubble wraith is not good. And that's we don't love that. That's where they, that's why like splitting from your reaper sometimes like that isn't great because he might have to wraith and you're like, oh, I bubble you and then it's too late. But and you even synchronize your nade too. Like this is like look at the space that you guys get off of that. As long as you guys can peel off the Genji, then it's then it's over. You guys will win this fight. Yeah. But yeah, that that that's a fight one through timing. Even though y'all's like cool on usage was like actually atrocious, but just because you guys went on all at the same time um, and had like good setup for it, it was pretty much over. That was good. I think like the key thing is like is understanding like this is a lot simpler than you think it is. Um, your gut and like you you can like knowing what I've told you now like I think you could probably pretty much just coach yourself like your teams at this point. Like you can look at like are we like retaking a six? Are we on different timings? Are we you know and then and then honestly like just try stuff too like try different ways of taking space like on those retakes in the city center. <clears throat> find a different way to retake other than going through main like we suggested the cars one we suggested like the sombra but there's gonna there's gonna be other tricks as well like you can do like a bait rotate like bait your backline super aggressively and then just fully kite out you know there's like so many yep. different little things that you can do but yeah, yeah. when i was like playing the game or like i was playing the comp i was like shit this comp feels really difficult but it's like the same with like every every new meta for me at yeah. least it's like shit this shit feels really difficult but yeah. then after you like learn it a little bit like oh it's like becomes routine and then yeah yeah you can like, yeah. just understand yeah like the goal always has to be like what is the new neutral engage look like and then yeah. how then how They're do neutral. we want to be positioned on the neutral engage not just me but like how does my lucio how does my somber want to be and once you yep. set up that perfect engage then just like kind of just check mark are we set up are we set up or was my somber set up was my reaper set up and then if not then figure out why not all right mate yes. cheers chat with you later thank take you good care of your arm you're very welcome <laughs> yes, thank you